It's a mess. Oh, hey guys. It's Derek Schomer here. You know, the guy that you're on the YouTube channel for. Um, I wanted to do kind of like a mini vlog. Now, my other camera's dead, so I, I didn't feel like setting up the other camera. So I'm filming a series on passion fruit cocktails, and I thought maybe I should talk a little bit about and make a little video for our uh, new recipe database website. Now, this is something I was working on for, uh, working on the concept for, for like years. Uh, once upon a time, I had a little Wikipedia type thing. Uh, it was called Mixed Drinkypedia. It was a pain in the ass to maintain. It was get spammed posted all the time. So then I announced I was going to create this recipe database, and that didn't happen. Then I announced that I had my buddy Rob working on a recipe database, and I never really got to use in that. Then one day, I needed to try and find a job, because I'm just not making enough money on YouTube to keep this as a career. So, to help build out the resume, I want to do some development. I did a video game that I'm launching on Steam. I've talked about that in the past. It's Dungeon Wrestlers, if you want to look it up. And then... I thought, okay, I did my, I did that development. Let's do the thing that we've been talking about, which is the recipe database. So you can check it out. It's recipe.awesomedrinks.com. So it's kind of like, I'm looking at it like a three pillar system. I've got the show. You're watching it. You know how it all works. We got the entertainment. We got the education. We've got the how to's. And then I have the store. So you could pick up the Lyra and Coke passion fruit syrups and, and other ingredients that you need, the ice cube trays and whatever. But then, how do you figure out where all the recipes go and how do you find them and how do you keep track of them? I use a little book, a little black book that I keep all my recipes in, but there's no digital copies of anything. So I'm sick of looking at all those recipe databases that just have every recipe under the sun in it. I think it's a freaking waste of time. Half of them aren't good. They're not qualified. It's whoever wants to submit some garbage can submit it. So what I wanted to do is make one that I had to put the recipes in that I felt were good recipes. No, they're not all going to be for everybody. Not everybody wants to drink a mezcal drink or a tequila or a rum, but they'll be good drinks for those that are looking for good drinks. Or if they want to experience bourbon and they haven't had a good bourbon cocktail, I want this database to just have the good stuff. So I launched it. It's still got a lot of recipes I've got to add in. What I've added so far has been vodka and gin from the Easy Vodka uh, craft cocktail series and the Easy Gin craft cocktail series. Those are pretty much in there. I'm going through my banger book and picking out like the Vesper. Uh, I got to do the margarita and some of those drinks. And now this new series I'm doing on passion fruit cocktails. All those recipes are going to be in there. Um, so I wanted to like have some place that people could go to without having to search our YouTube channel to try and find stuff because it becomes a nightmare to find them that way. Um, so a couple of the features, I'm going to overlay a showcase of what the site looks like today. It's still got work to do, but it's up and running and that's all that really matters at this point. Uh, it's got a search box. In that search box, you could do two, one of two things. There's search by ingredient or search by recipe name. If you only know some of the recipe name, like long, and you type long, it's going to find all recipes that have the word long in it and display them. If there's only one, it's just going to show you the recipe, uh, like a long iced tea in this case. If you just know you have passion fruit or you have, uh, I don't know, lime and rum, you could type into the ingredient version by clicking the little ingredient tab. You could type rum, comma, lime. And everything that has rum and lime in it within the database will come back at you. I designed it to look very similar to how Google works. So it should give you recipes that kind of fit what you're looking for. And the sidebar ads, obviously, are going to be awesome drinks promotional stuff. So if you're on a passion fruit cocktail like the Port Light, it's going to be telling you, hey, you should go buy Libra & Co. passion fruit from awesomedrinks.com. So it's kind of like it's, it's part of that pillar. It's to show you here's how you make cocktails, here's what you need for ingredients, and here's the recipe database that brings it all together. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'm going to continue to add more recipes. Leave your comments below if there's recipes that you kind of always look for or you think should be in the recipe database, and I'll make sure to find the recipes that make sense. The reason it's taking a little while to enter them all is, well, first off, I developed the thing from the ground up using a, a framework and wrote the, the whole database schema and all the information from the ground up, built the server, installed all the software on it. it it's literally, it's not WordPress. I designed this framework as a recipe database website. So it's been purpose-built, all by me, styled by me, mobile-ready by me. But I really designed it for you guys, which means I've got milliliters in there and I've got ounces in there. If you guys see errors, just email me like, like Stephen 
has been doing where he's been sending me like updates to say, hey, your milliliters don't match the ounces in here so that you can flip between the two. If you're in Europe, okay. If you're not in the United States, it's gonna to default to milliliters so that you have the measure that makes sense to you. If you're in the United States, it's gonna to default to ounces so that you have the measurements that make sense to you. You can always click back and forth to the one you want and eventually I'll have a way so if you click milliliters, even if you're in the US, it'll just save it throughout your session so it stays that way. There's a lot of stuff I wanna to continue to add and tweak to it, including the ability to have uh, serving sizes. So you could say, I wanna make a gin martini, but I need to make it for five people. And I wanna know what that means and have it automatically calculate that out all for you. That's coming. But it's, I've developed this thing from the ground up in two weeks. There's been a lot of hours in there, but it's got some ways to go, but I think it's fully featured and functional. All it needs is more data. So. Whatever recipes you think are important that need to be in there, write them below. They might take a little bit of time because all the ones I'm putting in there are gonna have photos that fit it. I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna be like those stupid websites. I even know Lear.com seems to do this, where they show you a recipe and then they give you a picture. And it doesn't match the glass they suggest, the garnish they suggest, it's not even the right freaking color. That's ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that the, the, the photo that you're seeing matches the recipe that's in there. If you have any questions, write them below or you can always send me an email, dshowmatter at everydaydrinkers.com. And if you'd like to support and help me, since I'm building this stuff, because I have to build a resume because I'm not making enough money, you can always use our patreon.com slash cmc to leave us tips each month. If that's just, if you just want to leave a one lump sum donation because you've got some extra cash coming in because it's uh, taxes are coming up and you're able to uh, have some free money that you want to spend, you can go to everydaydrinkers.com slash tip and just use our PayPal clicky click and send us whatever you think I deserve. And of course, I enjoy and look forward to your feedback about the new website. Let me know what you think. Write it in your comments. We're teaching you how to drink.